President Mohamed Buhari has sworn in four new federal permanent secretaries, which are Beatrice Jedi Agbama MNI, Kachalom Daju, Malam Shehu Ibrahim, and Mary Ogbe. The president administered the oath of office on the permanent secretary shortly before the commencement of the meeting of the Federal Executive Council at the Council Chamber of the State House, Abuja. Meanwhile, a mini silence was observed by the council in honor of former member of the council, Tony Graham Douglas, who passed on on the 25th of April. In a related development, the Minister of Science and Technology, Obonaya Ono, while briefing State House correspondents after the weekly meeting, announced the approval of the 2022 revised National Energy Policy by the Council. The policy takes into cognizance the vast available energy resources, including oil and gas, coal and renewable energies, with a view to effectively utilizing them for overall national growth. Nigeria is so blessed and what we want to do is to make sure that we have a mix that will bring in all the various energy resources that Nigeria has for the benefit of our nation. We have to plan our economy around the energy resources available to, uh, to Nigeria. Also, the Minister of Power, Abubakar Aliyu, presented a memo for the variation of a subsisting contract for 132 direct recruit line from Katampe to the Mashud Abiola Stadium in Abuja. The minister further disclosed that the council approved two contracts for the procurement of two sets of power transformers and the construction of a transmission line in Kebi State. Offshore is 8.2 two million euro, then the onshore is uh, 522.7 uh, million naira. So uh, the, the offshore remained the same. The offshore is now increased, the, the onshore is now increased to 724.7 uh, million uh, naira. Offshore. Meanwhile, the Minister of Information, Al Hajilai Mohammed, who spoke on behalf of the Minister of Mines and Steel, announced that the Council has approved the engagement of transaction advisors for consultancy services for the concession of Ajakuta Steel Company Limited and the National Iron Ore Mining Complex in Itakwe in the sum of 853.266 million naira, inclusive of 7.5% VAT. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.